A new study finds that weaves and braids may contribute to a type of permanent hair loss common in African American women. This type of hair loss centers on the crown of the scalp and then spreads from there. It usually begins for a woman when she is in her 40s. Now, according to the author of the study, any style that causes too much tension and traction on the hair, such as braiding, can lead to scarring hair loss. The hair loss is permanent, so it's important for women to seek help from a dermatologist as soon as they notice the problem. Often, the only option is a hair transplant. Buttery popcorn makes almost any movie worth seeing, but do you have any idea how many calories are in movie theater popcorn? Well, you probably don't want to know, but a recent study found large size servings of theater popcorn contain 900 to 1200 calories, and that's before the buttery topping is added. The FDA has proposed rules that would make restaurants, bakeries, even vending machines disclose the calorie content of food, but theater concession stands would be exempt from this rule. We have some good news for graduating college students. Thanks to the new Affordable Care Act, they now can stay on their parents' health insurance plan until their 26th birthday. In the past, students would be kicked off of their parents' health plan once they graduated from college. Over one million young adults may be eligible. And fish is back on the menu after some studies linked heart disease to mercury exposure from fish. Researchers at Harvard weren't convinced the risks of mercury outweighed the benefits of healthy fat and protein found in fish. Using data from two large studies, they compared mercury levels of participants to the number that developed heart disease, and they found no link between mercury from fish with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. Large fish like shark, swordfish, and king mackerel have the highest amounts of mercury, and they are not recommended for pregnant women and children. Studies have shown high mercury exposure can affect the brain of developing fetuses in children. But for the rest of us, two servings of fish a week are recommended. Cosmetic surgery isn't just for women. The number of men having procedures is up. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons says facelifts increased 14% last year. In fact, men underwent more than a million cosmetic procedures in 2010. Some of the most popular surgical procedures for men, nose reshaping, eyelid surgery, liposuction, and hair transplantation. And some of the most popular minimally invasive procedures men are having include Botox, laser hair removal, chemical peels, and soft tissue fillers. The region where the most cosmetic procedures are performed? The Mountain Pacific region. Want to look younger but you don't want to have surgery? A new procedure just approved by the FDA may be able to give you similar results without going under the knife. It's called ultherapy, and it tightens the skin by using ultrasound. It's performed right in the doctor's office. Here's how it works. An ultrasound device is placed on the skin, and it delivers low levels of focused heat to the deep layers of skin and muscle. This stimulates the body to produce collagen, and that causes a gradual lifting and tightening of the skin. Ultherapy can be used on the face, neck, and eyebrows. Now, you won't see immediate results. It can take two to three months for the body to produce the collagen. But as you can see, once it does, you see a noticeable difference. The procedure is usually painless. Some patients do report feeling mild heat during the procedure, which takes 45 minutes to an hour. Afterward, immediately you can resume all your regular activities. The results of all therapy usually last about a year. If you want to have this procedure or any other type of non-invasive beauty treatments, be sure to find a board-certified dermatologist with experience who has a lot of experience with the treatment you're interested in. Canned food can be convenient, but they may expose you to a potentially dangerous chemical. Bisphenol, or BPA, is a chemical used to harden plastic, and it's often found in the lining of canned foods. Now a study suggests this chemical can leach into the food in the can. BPA mimics human hormones and has been linked to cancer, infertility, and developmental problems in animal studies. Researchers studied five families who cut out all sources of BPA for three days and found BPA levels dropped over 60% by the end of the study. Levels went back up, though, after those families returned to their old eating habits. The effect of the chemical is still not clear. But the study suggests the levels of BPA in canned foods may be especially risky for pregnant women. FDA officials say there is some concern about BPA on the brain development of fetuses, infants, and children. 
but they have not said that the chemical is unsafe. And the American Chemistry Council maintains BPA is safe. Staying on a healthy diet can be a challenge, especially when you work in an office where there's always a treat around to tempt you. But there are some tricks to help you navigate this high calorie minefield. Packing your lunch and some snacks to get you through the day. Consider buying prepackaged snacks like cookies and chips to help control portions. Something like an apple or cheese stick is going to be more filling than some cookies. It's okay to eat at your desk, but don't multitask because you could end up mindlessly overeating. Instead, take a 10 minute break and focus on eating your lunch and get up from your desk, take a long walk to the restroom or visit a coworker instead of sending an email. If you take six five minute walks every day, you'll burn about 100 calories and over a year, that could lead to a 10 pound weight loss.